<laughs> that's why you watch replays. You always learn something new. Because uh, I didn't even catch that the last time I watched this game. Uh, this is the second time I've had to record this. I did lose about three or four uh, broadcasts I did. I ran out of room. Um, each one of these uh, files takes up uh, almost four gigs on Fraps. Uh, I am using Fraps for this, by the way. Um, and I forgot to... Um, to condense them, convert them, whatever you want to put it, uh, uh, compile them into uh, the MPEG files that I upload to YouTube. I had about 10 of them out, which is almost 40 gigs, um, and so it started giving me massive slowdown, and I started, uh, and it just stopped recording them after a while. So I lost about uh, three. I actually had to record that one for... Uh, against Swags on Desert Oasis, that was the Zerg player. I had to record that one four times. Um, so I was not happy going back. Sorry if I sounded a little upset and a little withdrawn from that game. Uh, it just had to do it so many times. Uh, he doesn't know where my army is, so he scans it right away. Um, I'm not sure if it's, that, if it's that big of a deal anymore because he's pretty much set on a full frontal attack here. Um, from a ground army, and knowing that I still have the ground army, it doesn't. I don't think he changes his tactics at all. He's going for Vikings and more Marauders. Ah, so he did change two Marauders. I believe that was the first. Uh, yeah, that, that would be his first Marauders out on the field. On the other hand, I have Ravens out. No need to scan anymore. Finally, getting some uh, smarts on me. I go for the Ravens. Um, so that once I attack, no need to scan, no need to build a missile turret out there, I have ravens. I don't use them as an attacking unit, they are just there to, uh, to detect, that is the only reason I built them. And I am really low on gas, so, wow. So I get the, I get two gas there, two here, I, uh, oh, it looks like I just have the one, uh, one SCV on this gas here. And uh, one more supply depot, and I will be maxed. So any time would be great to move in, and there I go. Once again, that supply, uh, them telling me I need more supply depots, telling me, oh, I bet it's time to attack. Some of you must die. So since I am going for a medevac drop, he is going to be completely unprepared. All his... Uh, all his uh, army is focused uh, to take down a front attack here. Uh, that would be great because I couldn't get any sight on these uh, on these uh, tanks up here. It looks like he's just got a couple though. And here we go, moving in for the medevac drop at the 30-minute mark. <laughs> And I land right next to his new barracks, which is now just getting, uh, what is that? A reactor. And down goes my army. He still hasn't reacted. There we go. The Vikings going out. But I should have enough to count this. He will take out a couple medevacs. One of them did have a marine in it. This one still hasn't unloaded. One of the marauders. There's just not enough room. Um, but I don't want, um, some people, especially with like overlords, uh, they'll drop them one at a time and just keep the overlords moving. You can't really do that with medevacs. They do need to stop and heal. Uh, so if, uh, one, uh, unit doesn't get out, it's not the end of the world. And there goes the ravens. And there goes the cloak. Even after the ravens, uh, showed themselves, there's no way he did not notice that these ravens were here, but he goes for the cloak anyway. Down goes his army. Uh, down go the tanks. Uh, he's hasn't even bothered firing on the ravens once. Of course, these banshees cannot take out these ravens. Uh, they can only attack ground units. Uh, but here, the Vikings are going for the ravens. Oh, so, mm, just taking it down one. Uh, but it looks like I will have plenty uh, to finish the job here. Of course I have it there. I do back off. No, I don't have enough. I take what little I have left and back off. 
He is sending a couple Vikings out to finish the job. No, they stay there, just holding position. Oh, no, they do follow me. And they back off. Um, so, I am down to 169. So, already I've kept up uh, with production, getting more Thors in case he went for the counterattack. Uh, did I move them up? No, I kept them down here. Would have been great to move them up here in case um, he did move in. That would be the shortest way. And, um... Yeah, the Thors probably would have taken that out. Do there any upgrades on these? No upgrades. As opposed to my 2-2. Two -two. And yeah, the Thors are a really bad placement on those Thors. I really need to get move them somewhere. Uh, what am I producing? Uh, oh, I am going for Vikings now. Uh, meanwhile, he's just going for a couple Marauders. Um... I could easily go back in and finish the job here. Still so low on gas, though. Um, I should, once again, move this orbital command, which is not doing anything, has serves no purpose there, down here just for gas, um, because I am so low on it. Medivacs still hanging out here. I doubt I ever see them. I really doubt it. Oh, but he is going for another expansion. He is going for uh, what I termed a risky island expansion. Uh, because, are these islands? Uh, no, there is a rock. There is debris. I apologize. There are not rocks on this map. This is a metal map. Uh, scrap station is. There we go. Moving the Thors up. In case he goes for a counterattack. He never actually attacks um, my base after that Banshee harassed, though. He's just staying there on defense. He knows who has the lead in this game. There we go, another expansion going down for me on the high yield, because I definitely need minerals. I only have 5,000. You know, what What would that build you, 5,000 minerals? <laughs> uh, just joking, you know, you, of course, I have so many. And going for another medevac drop, this time with Vikings in tow. Do I still have uh, ravens in there? Yes, one raven. And once again, not using any auto turrets, which would have been great. Um, because they can attack air units as well. And there goes the drop. And once again, after seeing the Raven, he still goes for the cloak. Not going to do anything for you. Um, all these Vikings are going to take everybody out. And he's not even focusing down the Raven. I don't think he knew that Ravens were detectors. Um, but just an educated guess right now. Um, I don't talk to these players after uh, after I play them, so I can't ask them any questions, especially after I watch the replay. You know, hey, did you know that they, that Ravens can detect? That's why I sent the, the Ravens out. He does GG. Um, just, uh, there we go. And there he leaves the game. Uh, never got this expansion up. Did produce a couple of SUVs, and, but they never went out. Uh, almost mined out of the expansion. Uh, how's the saturation there? Uh, not too great, considering it's his only, uh, his only mining anymore. Um, once again, his... Oh, he still had 24 remaining there. He should have listed off, moved that base as well. Um, but he had 3,102,000 uh, spent. Uh, while I had 6,000, 1,000, um, yeah, I needed more gas throughout this entire game because I was teching up to Thors um, and to Ravens as well as Vikings and Medivacs. I'm not used to uh, teching up that way. I'm really just used to the um, to the MMM build, so I didn't go uh, heavy on the gas as I should have. Uh, so it was a long game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, a few things uh, that I did well, a few things I should have done better, uh, a few things that the other player did well, those Banshees really did do a number, uh, a few things he could have done better, like a, looks like hockeys. Yeah, he never got any hockeys. They're so vital. Everybody should be using ho hockeys. You guys need any help with those? You, you know, select, double click, boom, selects both. Um, Starports, control, I do it to seven, you know, for starports, control seven. Now every time I hit seven, 
brings it right up. I can hit 7 D D D D D. That brings out Medivacs. So, long game. Hope you guys stuck through it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. Hope. <laughs>